Good morning, folks. Quick word for the California quake zone. The latest uptick was a double tremor event with multiple aftershocks following that lone tremor you all felt about two weeks ago. The global uptick conditions are improving and California will be one of the zones we watch for more shaking in the coming days. Looking on the right side of the precipitation aggregate, we see the east coast of Africa and Madagascar in the thick of it with an intensification and naming of Cyclone Helen. The first Uyen system candidate is a success. We'll expect an intensification or formation of another storm when the solar wind intensifies. Good example of pressure movement. Southern hemisphere low spin clockwise. Tail hooks towards the equator on the right side. These are minor concerns only. In the north, the low spin counterclockwise. Tail still hooks towards the equator on the right side. Thunderstorms heading for Portugal y España. If you kept up with the shifting storm zone last night, you know it headed east hard and did drop some severe weather near the coast. Today that's all moved off the coast due to the high pressure system in the Mississippi Valley, and the real story is in the Pacific. While the surface is owned by this high pressure cell pushing west towards Hawaii on the south, if we come up to the top of the tropopause, we see a complete reversal of the flow at that latitude. This is resulting in moisture theft off the top of the storms at Hawaii and sending it right to the U.S. coastline. Much more than you'd think, you're going to cover a large portion of the west today. The solar wind density is elevated, but not enough to cause any disruption to our geomagnetic systems. Per last night's update, we took an X-class solar flare, came from that same sunspot we've had our eye on for days. The eruption came on the north side, well towards the departing limb, and the ejecta does appear heading mostly north. However, looking at the eruption zoomed out on Soho Lasco, you can see ejecta coming from all sides of the central disk, a halo eruption. That indicates that the blast is wide enough to show in all directions and will impact Earth moderately in a few days. It was impulsive, rippled charged particles through our upper atmosphere, but the proton surge was not via the magnetic portal because our electrons rose at the exact same time. The sunspot situation is bleak, complexity is departing leaving baby spots in the struggling southern group coming into center disk. The departing spots indeed encounter the magnetic portal to our sun. You can see the next negative corona hole situation is almost geo-effective will ramp that global quake index. They're dark and incoming from the left side. Ten days to go in our Kickstarter campaign. About half the name spots are full already on the mobile observatory. Get your name on this traveling lab and come see us out on the road this summer. Over at our website, suspiciousobservers.org, right on the homepage. Couldn't keep this one all locked up. The first 30 minutes of yesterday's Fly on the Wall session is posted to the site. Dr. Uyen is a master of simplicity in explaining the electrical connections that abound, and this is a great preview of our weekly audio sessions on the site. Current conditions, shots of our star to close, eyes open, no fear at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.